Hello there, I'm Jimmy Roos and I'm a coach who helps guys get better results with women by increasing their confidence and bring out their natural charm. In today's video, I will compare direct versus indirect approach. We are going to look at what exactly is direct and indirect approach. I'm going to give you examples of each and then I'm going to give you the advantages and the disadvantages of each and where you can, for example, use it. So let's get started. Let's do this. Now the names of these approaches are pretty self-explanatory. Direct approach means you approach a woman directly. And the moment you engage her, she knows exactly what your intention is. She knows that you are interested in her romantically. The indirect approach, you don't reveal your true intentions. So the woman doesn't know what your intentions are. So here are some examples of a direct approach. When you see a woman that you are interested in, you might give her a big smile and then you may say, Hey baby, what's up? That's a direct approach. When you say, Hey baby, what's up? And you give her that naughty smile. She knows exactly what's up. Or if you see a hot woman in a pair of hot jeans, you may say, Hey baby, is there any space in those jeans for me? course she knows there's no space in that jeans. She knows she's wearing tight jeans. You can see her curves. Her curves are exposed. And you ask if there's space for you in those tight jeans. Tells her exactly what's happening. She knows you are interested in her romantically and probably sexually. Now let's look at examples of an indirect approach. An indirect approach is for example you are asking for assistance. You say excuse me can I ask you a question? Or you may say, excuse me, I need some help. This could be in a department store or this could be in the street when you need help with directions or you want to know somewhere you are in a strange city. Or it can just be an opportunity for you to get to know her. Maybe she's walking very fast and if you try the direct approach, she may not stop for it because she knows what it's about. But by saying, can I ask you a question or I need help, she may think it's just a random guy who needs, really needs help and then she may stop to help you. And then when she stops, she gives you an opportunity to talk to her and then you can transition to, to let her know exactly what this is about. So those are the examples of a direct and indirect approach. So let's look at the advantages of the direct approach. Now the first advantage of a direct approach is you save time and effort because the woman knows exactly what you want. So if she's unavailable, she will tell you right away. Sorry, I have a boyfriend or I have a husband or I'm not interested or whatever the case may be. So you can then move on to the next woman. Another thing is if you approach a woman directly and you let her know why you, that you are interested in her from the get go, she will see you as more confident than a guy who uses an indirect approach. And this may work in your favor. Another advantage of the direct approach is you can escalate faster. What do I mean? You can get physical with this woman much faster because you approach her directly and from that moment she already knew what this was about. So if she still decides to give you the time of day, that means she's open. She's open to sex or a relationship or whatever it is that you have in mind. So you can then escalate faster. So here are the disadvantages of the direct approach. If this woman is, for example, in a hurry or she's not in a good mood and you approach her with a direct approach, she may just keep on walking without stopping because she, she may be upset with men or she may not be in a good mood at that time. But if you use an indirect approach where you are asking for help, then she may stop and listen to you. And then that will give you an opportunity to connect with her. The second disadvantage of the direct approach is if she doesn't like your direct approach, she may also she may not give you a second chance. The third disadvantage of a direct approach is if she is a woman who values looks over substance. In other words, looks are very important to her and she looks at you and she doesn't like the way that you look. She will also not give you a second chance. So those are the disadvantages of direct approach. The advantage is when it works, it works well. But the disadvantage is that if it's not working well, you don't get a second chance. So let's look at the advantages of the indirect approach. Now the biggest advantage of the indirect approach is you can use it practically anywhere. You can ask questions, you can ask for help, you can, ask, you can use it in any setting. 
and you can use it with any woman. So let's look at the disadvantages of the indirect approach. Number one, you may waste a lot of time talking to, for example, a woman who is unavailable because she's either married or she has a boyfriend or she has some other reason why she is unavailable. But because she does not know what you are looking for, she thinks you are just a random guy who stopped her and asked her a question. So she doesn't know what you want. And even if she's married, she will not tell you that until you tell her what you want. It's only when you transition and you tell her you are interested in her romantically that she will then tell you, no, sorry, I'm married or I have a boyfriend, I'm not available. Another disadvantage of the indirect approach is you have to be more skilled to achieve success with an indirect approach because to go from friendly conversation to letting her know that you are interested in her romantically is a bit more challenging. And if she doesn't like the way that you transitioned, she will probably say bye-bye. Unless, of course, you are a very good-looking guy, then she may give you another chance. The other thing is that because it's more challenging to transition from friendly to romantic, most guys fail at this. So even if a woman gives you her number, she may flick because you didn't create the necessary attraction in her to make her want to see you again, which means that you are going to get put in the friend zone a lot more. So those are the advantages and disadvantages of the direct as well as indirect approach. Now, which one is best for you? Like I said, these approaches can be used anywhere. The direct approach works better in certain situations. You have to decide for yourself what works best for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. And also subscribe to my channel so I can notify you whenever I post new videos like this because I will be posting a lot more videos. So thank you for watching.